Well, good day, viewers. Today we have a Volkswagen, a 2015 Tiguan. And it was in an accident. The airbag was replaced because it deployed. Now I understand the clock spring was replaced, but it was replaced with a used part from another steering column. And ever since that, these controls don't work. And the horn doesn't work. Now there are no warning lights other than the TPMS light on, on the dash. It came from another shop and they did a bunch of testing on it. And I guess they feel that it's got an incorrect clock spring in it. Now I'm understanding that the used steering column that the customer took the clock spring out of did not have steering controls. So to me that would be a dead giveaway that it's got to have a different clock spring but I'm not 100% certain on that. So we're gonna start out with a network scan of all the controllers in this vehicle using VCDS and see what it has to give us for fault codes. So I got VCDS hooked up to the vehicle. I'm gonna click auto scan and start. And it should do a code scan of all the controllers. So we'll pick up when we get to the end of this code scan because it's fairly time consuming. So we have a few red messages here. Everything in red indicates there's a fault code in the system. Let's see, steering column control module, no communication. Well, if the steering column control module is offline, it's not going to work. So where is this? This is in the engine control computer. We've got a communication fault with the steering column control module. powertrain data missing message from steering wheel yeah that's two modules complaining about loss of communication please check DTC memory of steering electronics ABS brakes tire pressure warning minor detail address 16 steering wheel Control circuit for ignition key lock solenoid. Terminal 15, which is usually a power terminal, isn't it? Signal implausible. Hmm. I think terminal 15's on Volkswagen's are power terminals, but I can't remember. Windshield wiper washer switch. Comfort system CAN bus, medium speed bus. Park position lock switch. media player address cannot be reached radio tuner not enabled or activated now well, the radio was working all right let's go back up to the top here it says Missing message from steering wheel J527. Please check memory of J527. So let's go back, close, select, and steering column lock, steering wheel. Let's try this. Fault codes. We have communication with that one. This is where we have the 147464 terminal 15 signal implausible. I'm going to do a little bit of looking around here. So here's what I found doing a little research. Apparently the clock spring re was replaced and the clock spring is part of the steering wheel control module. And it will need to be coded if replaced. If the coding was not retrieved from the old module, the old module will have to be reinstalled and long coding will have to be retrieved using a fully functional VIN scan tool. The module will have to be coded with an OEM factory scan tool if the coding from the old control module cannot be extracted. So I don't know if we've got the old control module and we can reinstall it, but it communicates and I suspect the problem is incorrect coding in there because I said the, after, the used steering wheel did not have the controls, so the module may be the same part 
but it doesn't have the correct coating for this car and that's probably why the steering controls don't work because the module wouldn't be looking for them. Uh, I'm not sure about some of that uh, those implausible codes but nevertheless incorrectly programmed steering column electronics system control module J527 it talks I got communication with it here is the module and it's got all these codes in it open circuit for the key lock solenoid terminal 15 signal implausible windshield wiper washer switch CAN bus medium speed CAN bus malfunction selector lever park position lock switch so I'm gonna to have to find out whether he's got the original steering column control module so I've never had one of these apart but I imagine this is where that module lives there's the electrical connector to it and here is the steering wheel off of the replacement steering column that he got the clock spring out of I don't see that clock spring and steering column control module anywhere in the vehicle. I imagine they tossed it. Well, I hope they didn't toss it because we need the coating for it or it's going to have to go to the dealer. At least that's my opinion. I don't even know if I can code this because I've never done this with VCDS, but I think if we can extract it with VCDS, then we should be able to re relearn it, but we'll see. So I got off the phone with a customer and he's not sure if the other shop still has the steering uh, column module or not because they changed that with part of this as part of the clock spring at least I believe they did and it's not in the car um, so I thought I'd experiment with some coding in that module so if I go into coding 07 and use the long there's the current coding that's the number we would need from the original module to get the proper configuration. This is what's in the current coding. So if I click on this long coding helper, and you'll have to forgive me, I'm very no, new to this myself. It, it's got some experimental coding information and verified coding information. So basically use at your own risk. So let's open this up and see what it shows here. And isn't that lovely? It's in German. So each bit here, I don't know what these mean. I could probably, I wonder if I can copy and paste this into Google. No, I can't. Can't copy this text. Multifunction. Oh boy, I don't I don't understand it. Why wouldn't this be in English? Oh, language. English. And whatever. How do I Hmm. Language. English standard. If code is not started from VCDS, paste new coding here. If code is not started from VCDS, paste new coding here. Shortcut control one. Hmm. Well, I'm going to look around here. So I found a drop down in here for bit zero two that said multifunction steering wheel connected via LIN 2.0 Volkswagen. So I changed that one. So now the new code is 599A144000. A 144000. Let's go do it. It's not liking that for some reason. Error 31, request out of range. Well, I'm going to have to see if I can get the old module tomorrow and plug it into the system and get the original coding off of it or see if I can find somebody who has the same options in their vehicle and 
I've scanned other Volkswagen Tiguans, but not a uh, 15, not a 15 Tiguan. I've got an 11 and a 12 that I work on. So usually I record the coding when I save the vehicle data just for this purpose. I managed to obtain the original clock spring assembly and it's a steering column control module. Uh, there is a module inside here as well. It's not just a simple clock spring. And uh, if we need to, we're going to install it in the vehicle and see if we can get the coating out of it. But before we do that, I'm going to try one more time to manually coding it, code it using the coating helper. Okay, so we're going to try this uh, programming or coding in this steering control module, which is module 16, steering wheel control. The coding number is 598014 quadruple zero. So I'm going to load this long coding helper without the experimental coding because that's all from Germany it turns out. Come I didn't load the long coding helper. Oh there we go. I just updated the software on here too. So let's start here. Steering angle sensor connected to steering wheel control module. I believe that's correct because it isn't setting any fault codes for the steering angle sensor. Automatic transmission ignition key removed lock installed. I'm not sure about that. Rear wiper is installed. Button for driver assist system installed, don't know. Board computer controlled via wiper lever. The wipers were working as far as I know. Special handling for Audi, that would not be applicable. Next page. Here it says, zero, zero, multifunction steering wheel not installed. Well, this one does have it installed, so we're gonna enable this one, assuming that that's the function. And bit three says multifunction steering wheel with push to talk button installed. It has that as far as I can tell, but it does not have the Tiptronic installed. Ignition switch via steering wheel control module. Well, that was working, so we'll leave that checked. Electronic steering column lock installed, don't know. E Q46, alternate parking light function, don't know. Horn only with terminal 15. Well, there was a fault code, something to do with terminal 15, so I'm gonna uncheck that. Cruise control via turn signal lever. What other options do we have? Yes, the cruise control is on the turn signal lever, so we're gonna leave that. Let's go to bit three. Multifunction steering wheel button dimming via can. I have no clue. I'll enable it and see what happens. Alternate momentary switch for high beam, don't know. Multifunction steering wheel for MQB platform installed. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna leave it unchecked. And that's it. So now we're gonna copy this, which is control one and then hit escape and it puts it into the new coding so there's the old coding there's the new coding we're going to click do it and see if we get an error message this time okay i give up i'm going to install the old steering column control module at least plug it in to see if we can get the coding number out of it i'm not sure why this coding is not being accepted uh, I'm going to write that down just for the hell of it, because that's what I think it should be. Old one, possible, just to compare, 598A00. Okay, so we're going to take the steering column apart and temporarily install this module. So to remove the airbag assembly, there's these tabs, springs that you have to pry off of the ears here. Turn the steering wheel 
so that it's up here at the top and you can go in from the back with a small screwdriver you have to pry that ear off of the aluminum lock on the steering wheel and pull up on this airbag at the same time one side at a time now <clears throat> to get the airbag connector out there is a secondary plastic lock a white lock this little guy right here that must be pulled out and then you can pull squeeze this tab and pull the airbag off and set the airbag aside and i believe this is a t12 or uh, e-drive 12 to get the bolt off the steering column so pry the top part of the cover off there's two little clips here and fold it back up against the dash it can probably stay there we just want to get to this connector so that we can plug in this original clock spring so it looks like i'm gonna to have to take these t20 bolts out and i think there's one underneath here yes there's one underneath here inside so we're gonna have a, a look at that so these two bolts that hold the uh, plastic panel on are actually t25 and i've plugged in the main connector from down here off this new clock spring into the existing clock spring and I'm hoping that's all we need now we're going to reconnect the battery and see if we can get the coating out of this there's a bunch of other connectors here I don't think they're required at least to get the coating number so I'm going to try this now see if it'll communicate Let's go to coding. Wow, that's a completely different number. Okay, so 110A, 110A, 141400000. 110A, 14. Let's go to the long coding helper and see what options it shows steering angle sensor connected automatic transmission see that one was checked off before multi-function steering wheel yes multi-function that was correct horn was connected to the terminal 15 cruise control via turn signal lever that's correct yeah that's not unchecked or not checked I should say and none of the other ones were checked so that's interesting 110A14 triple quadruple zero okay so we're gonna escape out of here cancel close controller go back now we'll reconnect the existing controller and see if we can program it with that same code so we're gonna go into steering module now I've got the new use one connected Go to coding and I'm going to type in this new number 110A140000. Click do it, please. Why do we get this request out of range? I was told that the part number of the part is the same. Hmm, cancel. I'm sure we got a whack of fault codes. Signal and plausibility. Now it is a used part. Could it be defective part? Hmm. I'm sure I don't need to have all of the modules or all of the rest of this hardware installed to reprogram this thing. I'm going to cycle the key. So I cleared the codes. Maybe it won't code when there's codes in it. No, nope, it still gives me the same error. So 
I got the original steering module connected and the only thing I see different is the VAG number is different. The original one is 5K09535501DM and the replacement one ends in CN. And I don't know if that makes a difference. The rest looks the same. How about the shop number? IMP, now that's different too. This, the original one is this one on the screen and the one I have in the car is 758 WSC 09550. And according to what I've been told, the customer had verified that the module was the same by calling the service department or parts department at the local dealership. Now, I can't confirm that myself. I've got no way of qualifying it. I think I'm going to post a case on the diagnostic network and see if I can get any assistance on this thing. I've been reading the Rostec forums here and I can't find any specific I tried entering security uh, 40168, that didn't matter, so I'm kind of at a loss. Anyways, I'm going to try one more time by clearing all DTCs. Some controller is causing some other controller is causing a problem. Done. Go back. Wait. So we still have some codes in the airbag. Well, I got the airbag module. Let's close this. Let's go select. Let's go steering wheel control. Try security access again. 40168. Do it. it. Says it's accepted, but it doesn't give me the option for coding 211. That's the current coding. The new coding is supposed to be 110K1400. Zero, 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 zero. If I can do it, coding rejected error 31, repressed out of range. So either I've got an incompatible part or a defective part, it is a used part, came out of another car, so anything is possible. So I've reinstalled the original clock spring because I'm not even sure why it was replaced. He said something stopped working, I'm not sure what. I know the airbag deployed and the airbag was replaced because I guess the, gather the vehicle was in an accident. So the, re the original clock spring and steering module is reinstalled. So we're doing a network code clear. And we'll do a network code read again after and see what codes we have. Got a code in the engine, ABS, airbag, and steering wheel. Well, let's do a uh, network code scan and see what codes we have. This will take a few seconds, so I'll pick up when we get to the end. So in the engine control module, we have a Steering column, control module, no communication, intermittent. And it says check memory of steering wheel electronics. In the ABS, we have tire pressure warning. And in the airbag, we have airbag igniter, driver's side, upper limit exceeded. So that's probably why the this thing has been replaced upper limit exceeded so that must mean that it's deployed and it's requires hmm airbag igniter driver's side steering wheel module 
Controls and steering wheel, no communication confirmed. That's a new code. Well, I don't know what to do now. Let's save this. Oh, gotta wait for it to save the recording. <laughs> 